Hey everyone, so I pulled my GameCube out of uh, out of storage the other day because I haven't played it in a while and I realized that the front panel on it, this gray front panel like where the, the controllers and the memory cards go, had gotten a bit yellow. Um, may not be too easy to tell but on this piece all the yellowing is on kind of the right side. What's really easy to notice is the uh, the memory card B door for some reason yellowed quite a bit more than the rest of it. Um, leave that there so you can kind of see the difference. I figure you know what I just I, I want to clean this whole thing up because that particular GameCube is in excellent condition otherwise. So what better than to uh, get out here kind of early and do a uh, pseudo retro bright type of application. I don't have all the ingredients to do proper retro bright and to be honest I'm, I'm convinced you don't need them all. Uh, really the chemistry states that you just need hydrogen peroxide and UV light to do all the work. So it's really freaking early it's like 7 a.m. and uh, I wanted to catch some sunlight before it gets too late in the day because I don't honestly know how long this is going to take. But I just threw my pieces here in one of these kind of shallow, you know, food storage bins um, with an open top to let the sunlight in as much as we can. And then I've just got a, a container here of cheap Target hydrogen peroxide. Uh, this is just standard 3% stuff. Uh, I, you can't, it, it's a pain to find stronger. You can try going to a beauty supply store, supposedly they've got it. Um, but a guy walking into a beauty supply store asking for the strongest hydrogen peroxide they have, I'm going to end up on some sort of watch list if I do that. So I think we're uh, we're just going to try the Target stuff here and, uh, and see what we get. It's probably going to take the whole bottle. That's okay, this stuff's pretty inexpensive and I hardly ever use it otherwise anyway. So I've got all the hydrogen peroxide poured into this container here and one problem I'm kind of having is that some of these pieces want to float. Um, I kind of, you know, pushed them down a little bit as best I could and moved them around. I think there may have been some air bubbles stuck underneath them or something maybe. But uh, now they all seem to be completely submerged and uh, they're facing up. They need to face up. Uh, if there's yellowed facing downwards that's not going to work because it's not just the hydrogen peroxide that does the work it's the action of the hydrogen peroxide with the sunlight so make sure you've got you know direct sunlight on the piece that you want to, to fix the color on but uh, that said I think we're uh, just gonna let this thing sit out here for a few hours um, okay so we're back outside it's actually a week later um, kind of a funny story so you know I threw the whole uh, that whole bin out there with all the plastic pieces in it and it got good sun for probably six hours or so um, but then it got cloudy and just started pouring rain so I had to run out and grab it and get all the uh, get all the pieces out before they got washed away or whatever it was just coming down just like crazy the vast majority of the plastic ended up getting really clean just with that six hours but this one memory card door which was the one that was the most yellowed um, it, it still had a little bit of yellow left so here we are about a week later uh, I set this thing out here first thing in the morning it's about noon right now so it's had maybe two hours of sun I can still see a little bit of yellow on the door but it's definitely getting better leave this out for a little while longer take it back in when it's done compare it to the other plastics and uh, we'll go from there all right, so I just came out to check on it, and it looks like the sun has shifted position in the sky such that now the house is blocking it. So let's get this guy moved over somewhere else here where, uh, where it can be in the sun. How about over here? New grill's working awesome, by the way. That's the Weber that I reviewed a while back. I like that thing. It doesn't try to kill me. So I'll try and get it so I don't have any shadows going across the piece in there. I should also mention that I'm using electrical tape to hold the thing down. Especially these small pieces, they have the tendency to float and you really want to keep them submerged whenever possible. So I've got a couple of pieces of electrical tape 
just holding down kind of the ears on the, uh, the memory card door there just to keep it under water. I taped the thing in before I put the, uh, the hydrogen peroxide in, which is pretty important. Uh, electrical tape is fairly waterproof, but if you do get the adhesive wet, it will start to fail. So tape it in and then, then fill it up. Come back in a few more hours, maybe after dinner, take a look at it and hopefully wrap things up. Okay, so after letting that piece sit out in the sun for probably another eight hours or so, basically for as long as I had direct sunlight, I pulled it out, let it dry out, and then put the whole GameCube back together. I'm trying to do this in natural sunlight because that's really the only way to, to see the actual color of this. If I do it under any sort of you know fluorescent or tungsten lighting, that just it's going to be really hard to tell. But basically, here's what it kind of ended up looking like. There's just a little bit of yellow left. In case you can't tell, it's the slot B door cover that had the most yellow. There's just a little bit still there. I have a feeling that perhaps another pass might get it closer. But either way, it's still a heck of a lot better than it was before. That door was really, really yellow. And now it's not really quite so bad. So I would guess that's kind of proof positive that if you need to do it and you don't have a lot of money or you don't really have the resources to go and get all the crazy ingredients that you need to build, you know, real retro bright and mix up a batch. Just go to like the grocery store or the pharmacy and pick up a bottle of hydrogen peroxide, just whatever strength you can get, and give it a shot. If you can get your hands on a UV light, that probably would help too, especially if you need to do it during the winter. Um, here in Minnesota, there's just no way I'd be able to do this out you know, with sunlight. The sun's just too weak in the winter here. So if you have a UV light, that'll definitely speed things up because you can keep going you know, for as long as you need to. Other things that I've heard anecdotally is that the hydrogen peroxide just doesn't keep going. There is kind of a point where it, it wears out, it, it loses its potency and you've got to replace it. So maybe that's something also to keep in mind is every 12 hours or so, dump out the hydrogen peroxide and put fresh in there. But either way, this works and that's pretty cool. So if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up. I do appreciate those. They help quite a bit. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's right down there. And as always, thank you so much for watching.